how to survive pandemics and plagues. A pandemic is an epidemic of infectious disease that is spread through human populations across a large region such as a continent or even worldwide. Infectious diseases are caused by the presence of pathogenic microbial agents, including viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, multicellular parasites, and aberrant proteins known as prions. Most of these are qualified as contagious diseases due to their potential of transmission from one person or species to another. Throughout history, there have been a number of pandemics, such as bubonic plague, smallpox, and tuberculosis. Historically, pandemics occur about every 10 to 40 years, so it is likely that everyone will experience a pandemic at least once in their lifetime. There are two types of pathogenic agents that are the cause of most epidemics, bacterial and viral. Epidemic diseases caused by pathogenic bacteria include typhoid, tuberculosis, bubonic plague, and cholera. The primary medical treatment used to combat bacterial infections are antibiotics. Epidemic diseases caused by pathogenic viruses include smallpox, mumps, measles, and a host of influenza-type diseases such as Spanish flu, yellow fever, swine flu, and avian flu. The primary medical treatment used to combat viruses are vaccines. These diseases are spread from person to person through coughing or sneezing, by touching infected surfaces, or through contamination of food or water. Most healthy adults may pass the disease to someone else before knowing they are sick since they are infectious beginning one day before the symptoms develop and up to five days after becoming sick. Prevention. If you have any forewarning of an impending pandemic, increase your home emergency kit stores from the minimum three days worth of food and water to three months worth. This will help you to reduce your public exposure time by not having to go out shopping in case local stores run out of food. Also, add to your medical kit in the event you have to treat sick family members at home. Most hospitals and medical facilities will be overwhelmed in the first few hours of a serious pandemic. If you or anyone in your family becomes sick, your best option will likely be to nurse them at home. If an epidemic or pandemic is reported in your area, take the following steps to help prevent the spread of the infection. Social distancing. Quarantine yourself voluntarily if your family members have flu symptoms to avoid infecting others. Encourage co-workers to stay home if they have the first signs of illness and ask them to remain at home if they have sick family members. Support a human resources policy that allows family members of sick household members to stay at home during a pandemic. Remove your children from school and daycare. Reduce their contact with other children and avoid social activities. Avoid public gatherings and cancel any planned meetings, travel, or social events until the pandemic has burned out. Hygiene. Wash your hands. Infectious diseases are spread by the hands more than by any other means. Any surface that has been touched by someone infected could contain the germs or virus that can be transferred to the next person who touches that same surface. Especially likely sources for germs are door handles, stair rails, elevator buttons, 
and ATM machine buttons. After touching a doorknob or handle, you should definitely wash your hands. If you have just washed your hands in a restroom and then you touch the door handle on the way out, you may have put the disease right back on your hands. Use a piece of tissue paper to turn the door handle to exit. Just having the germs or virus on your hands will not infect you. It is when you use your hands to handle food or when you touch your eyes, nose and mouth that the contagion can enter your system. Always wash your hands when handling food and avoid touching your face until after you have washed your hands. It is always a good idea to wash your hands several times a day, especially whenever you have returned from being in a public place. Wear a mask. If you have to go out in populated areas during a pandemic, then wearing a surgical or dust mask can help prevent infection, though this is far from foolproof. These style masks will have gaps, usually around the nose, where airborne pathogens could easily enter. Furthermore, some viruses are so small, microscopically, that they can pass through these filters. In addition, you need to change these masks regularly so that the contamination does not build up on the mask itself. Health. Another strategy to prevent becoming infected in a pandemic is to strengthen your immune system. Take plenty of vitamin C and vitamin D every day, even if you are not feeling sick. Eating healthy foods and exercising are the two tried and proven methods of staying healthy. Also, do not allow yourself to become too stressed out. Stress has been proven to reduce your body's immunity and make you more susceptible to disease. Living through a pandemic can be a stressful experience. Be sure to take time to relax and find something enjoyable for you and your family to do to reduce stress and anxiety. Building up your defenses will help your immune system to be as strong as possible so that if you ever do come down with the disease, your body has a better chance fighting it. Vaccines. Generally, vaccines are the best protection against contracting the flu. In the event of a pandemic, Local medical services will be distributed vaccines and news and radio stations will broadcast information on where you can be vaccinated. However, there are some drawbacks. Any virus that can reach pandemic proportions is going to be quite a bit different genetically from current strains of influenza, which means that existing vaccines are not likely to help. It typically takes six months minimum to develop and manufacture a new vaccine. Furthermore, there can also be significant side effects that can be worse than actually contracting the disease itself. As with any emergency, the better informed you are, the better you are able to make decisions that will improve your chances of survival. If there is a pandemic, do some online research on the nature and severity of the contagion and do not rely only on media reports. Antibiotics Antibiotics are generally used to treat diseases caused by bacterial infections. However, certain bacteria are evolving resistance to current antibiotics. A resistant strain of any of the bacterial diseases could result in a serious pandemic that may be more difficult or even impossible to treat with current antibiotics. Furthermore, if the cause of the pandemic is bacteriological, then by the very fact that it is a pandemic suggests that the strain is already immune to existing antibiotics, hence its rapid spread. Aftermath Should the pandemic continue and its effects worsen, you may see a breakdown in social services. First, essential services such as police, fire, ambulance, 
hospital, and medical clinics will be overwhelmed. With many people ill and many more afraid to go to work, there may not be enough people to run the machinery of a city. Services such as water, power, and transportation may decline or even cease. Retail food, convenience, and grocery stores may close due to a lack of deliveries or out of fear of infection by its workers. Most likely, schools, daycares, and universities will close temporarily in order to halt the spread of the infection. Implementing social distancing will result in most social events being cancelled. This means that your best option is to stay sheltered at home. A pandemic may come in waves, each of which can last for six to eight weeks. This may continue for up to 18 months. Make sure that you have a home emergency kit and follow the procedures for sheltering in place.